Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I'm your host Chris or CDB and today is St. Patrick's Day and so we're going to use The Quiet Man by Wet the Face which is a green Irish tweed type scent. Now I used this once before and I did not lather it well. I think that was on me and the one thing that I'm always going to do is be fair to products. To give you an example, I did not like this product but I tried every way in the world to make it work. I even had someone else try it to see if they're result was the same in mine, and it just wasn't a very good product, and I said so. But I don't think this is the case with Don Youngner's um, wet face. Uh, again, the scent for me, probably 3.4 on my scale of 1 to 10. Now, granted, that varies from person to person into how much they, you know, what they feel is strong. Um, I call it 3.5 to 4, perhaps. We're going to be using today the razor, the Game Changer Jaws. Now this one is 68, and to be honest with you, I miss, I made a mistake. I meant to get the 84, but I ordered the 68. But I think this is gonna be fine. You see there's a good deal of uh, blade exposure there. It came with the halo handle like this, but I prefer this one, which is shorter, as you can see there. This to me is the perfect handle size. That, or maybe even a little bit uh, shorter, I just like it. Uh, so I usually take these off and keep them for something else and the uh, the blade that we're rolling with today is the Paul Silver or Pole Silver Super Iridium. And so we're going to, uh, one of the things I wanted to make sure today to do was to uh, load my, uh, use a synthetic brush, which I've already loaded, but I'm gonna load it a little bit more, Ariane and Evans, cause I used a bore and I bow lathered it and it was just a little bit airy and foamy for my taste. I got a great shave with it. It was no problem with the shave, but I just don't think I did a good job. There's a quick look at the ingredients before we get started, and I'll start loading here a little bit more just to make sure that we have plenty of product. And again, I'm loading uh, with the tub upside down. I don't want to get any water in there or minimize the amount of water that's in there. I know everybody has different points of view on that, but I'm a firm believer that the less water you introduce to your soaps, the better for their longevity. That's my perspective based on my own use. And so I believe we've got a adequate load here. And if not, we shall revisit. Uh, so let's wet the face again and start our lathering process. I hope everyone is doing well this St. Patrick's Day. Um, I myself am of Irish, Scottish and English heritage, uh, according to my DNA test. And my last name is Bailey, and I think my, uh, my grandmother on my, uh, see, much, much, much better result here. I can tell you right now, this lather is going to be much, much better. Anyway, uh, my grandmother's name, my dad's side was Campbell, which I believe originates from that area as well. And I'm a Bailey, of course. And uh, so, happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. And I use the soap in part, you know, it's the... If you look at the artwork on there, it looks like, I don't know if that is Ireland, but it kind of looks like, I mean, I've never been to Ireland. I would love to go. I think the green that you see, the lush green is beautiful. And uh, it is one of those places I would like to go. That's one of the great things about this hobby is it's kind of a, a borderless hobby where we get to communicate for, and talk with people from all over the world and content creators from all over the world and exchange uh, and we have this thing in common, and, the, and it's not about the, you know, fighting over politics or our beliefs versus their beliefs. It's just this thing that we share. That, to me, is beautiful in a world where everybody wants to argue over everything. And believe me, I've been one to <laughs> argue a lot in the past. It's refreshing just to do this sort of content and enjoy it with the community. And so let's... Uh, Get ready to go with our jaws and see how it goes. Oh, that feels nice. I like it, I like it, I like it. I usually want the 84. I, I do prefer razors on medium and above, but I can use mild razors. Oh, and by the way, again, before I get too far into it, I'm gonna make a habit of doing this for a while, so, so I have to stop here in these uh, stupid comments. There is your 24 hour growth picture, which I just take, took prior to the start of the video. And the reason I'm putting that in there is so you all can put, point these people next time you see a comment like that, say, there you go. I'm a seven day a week shaver. I love shaving. This is what I do. It's my hobby. I also work. 
And uh, so I shave. And why else would I not shave? I got all these great products. And trust me, I have so much stuff to get to. You know, I'm making this content regularly and there's still stuff piling up. And so I can only imagine those people like Michael Freeberg that was using a product for a whole week, how much stuff just piles up. It's a great problem to have. And I thank you uh, viewers who have helped me out because I couldn't do it without you. And I mean that. That is not just lip service. Anyway, the shave so far, I'm liking it. Even, at, even with the 68, it is definitely in that medium range. And by the way, this is the good okay symbol. So I, there's stuff going around about that. And I don't want any involvement with any sort of extremism of any kind. And I notice from time to time, I, that, that means okay, good. Maybe I'll start doing the thumbs up because I don't want any of that nonsense started with the extremism because apparently someone has hijacked that symbol now and it's it's terrible. But anyway, let's get back to this shave, which I'm really enjoying. So I'm finding the 68 to be quite nice. And even though that comb looks kind of aggressive, I mean, the edges, uh, they're rounded. So it doesn't feel bad on my skin. So I'm liking it. The cost on this, by the way, this, uh, this Jaws is a $54 all stainless 316L, I think it is. And that's one of the areas where Razor Rock really excels. It brings these stainless razors that are generally quite expensive to you for a uh, value price. Now he does, on the website, he'll say, you know, these are not gems or show pieces, but I tend to believe the finish has gotten better and better on these razors over the years. And they are a great value for people. Look, before, back in the day, there you had one option for a budget stainless razor. It was Weber when they made them. They started out around 75 bucks. Until Razor Rock and some of the other people came around, everything was like 150, 180, 200. And so for me, that's a huge win because it gets these stainless offerings into the hands of folks who can't afford um, 185, 200. And also Carve, the Carve razors are like the, uh, the brass offerings are fairly affordable relative to some of the, you know, super expensive stainless um, razors. I like that. I like that they're allowing people to get into these different sort of metals and have a razor that maybe isn't pop metal or whatever for a decent price. That's where Razor Rock really excels is value. The name is synonymous with value. Much, much better. I'm going to do thumbs up. Much, much better lather this time. I tell you, folks. This is why I revisited, because I believed it was my error. And when it's my error on my channel, you can believe I'm going to come back and say so. I'm not going to pass off and, and chuck a product to the side until I give it a fair go. But if it's a bad product, like the Helmsman, in my opinion, I'm also going to let you know. This is much better. And I expect, I just, I'm much better when loading from the container and face lathering. That's all there is to it especially with a new soap and I should say synthetic brushes. That's, that's my jam. You know, I love the synthetic brushes. I cannot deny it. I don't even know why I bother with natural hair, mostly because people ask for it on the channel. You know, I try to accommodate as best I can, but truth be told, I never need anything other than these synthetic brushes. They do everything I need them to do. I'm not looking to scrub my face. I do that in the shower. I've never been a big fan of that. And as and as a number of people have been pointing out recently, that scritchy scrubbing can cause irritation. Sometimes the blade gets blamed. Sometimes the razor gets blamed. But sometimes it comes down to all that excessive scrubbing and twisting, getting under that hair, moving it around, bending it right where it meets the neck. You can cause irritation that way. So please think about that. All right, second pass. We're flapping our gums a lot, which, hey, that's what I do. Anyway. Uh, one channel, uh, the channel I want to mention today, uh, I want to mention Jim Combs' channel. And the reason why, I was going to get to it eventually, but I'm going to mention it today because I saw a video yesterday and uh, Jim put up a video and he basically said, you know, I'm going to slow down and maybe 
right off into the sunset. And so I don't want you all to go to Jim's channel and beg him not to, to leave. If it's a personal de decision and he just doesn't want to make the content, although he did say he enjoys making the content, so I hope he's not done. But I do want you to go by, if you've never seen Jim's channel before and, and shown some love, but please don't bother him about his video, you know, because he disabled the comments on that. So he doesn't want, you know, a lot of sympathy. He's not looking, but I want you to just check check out the channel based on the the benefit to the community, the fact that, you know, he loves shaving. He's enthusiastic about shaving, and that's what I like. That's what I like. And so uh, check out his channel, and hopefully he'll still continue. But I totally respect anyone who, you know, slows down, or takes breaks. I've taken many breaks over the years. Sometimes you have to. You have a lot. This is a time-consuming thing. You know, when you make a video that's, let's just say it's it's 20 minutes, if you do any minor editing, you basically got to watch the whole thing back, put your little annotations in it for all your mistakes, upload it, do your thumbnail. By the time it's done, you know, you've spent well over an hour on a 20-minute video easily. Then you're answering comments uh, it, it takes a lot of time and effort. And, and, uh, so I understand how it can be quite taxing for people and, and we enjoy doing it, but there is a, a fair amount of work that goes into it. So, um, check out Jim's channel and I will have it in link below, but please don't, I ask that you not bother him about, you know, the potential for him slowing down. You know, that's his decision. But I really hope that you will enjoy the content that he has. I like Jim. Um, again, I've only gotten back into the community aspect the last month, let's say. And I've gotten to uh, really appreciate a lot of these channels that I did not know about. Because I hadn't really been participating with the community for two, three years. And it has been the most fun part, honestly, of this entire thing. Is getting to know these people and developing, you know, new friendships and interacting with the people all over the world. And, you know, this is a thing we have in common and we share and it should be positive. And that's what I've learned over the years. And I'll tell you, I've made a lot of mistakes. There were times I shouldn't have made content. I wasn't in the right frame of mind to do so. Um, you know, I had a lot of things going on in my life and, you know, a lot of anger spewed into the, the content. But um, my, my personal feeling is I'm glad I never quit. You know, I, I wish I hadn't have made certain types of content, but I'm glad I never walked away because I'm still enjoying doing it. I still feel, feel very passionately about this hobby and the fact that we need to advocate for it. And every person like Jim that makes videos, he has friends, he has family. They're going to share it. Maybe someone else will be brought to this hobby tomorrow as a result of a channel like Jim's or anyone's channel. So I welcome all these creators and I try to support them as best I'm capable. And so I think it's good for all of us when we support one another. This is a very niche and small hobby still. The biggest channels out there are still really small relative to other YouTube type hobbies and creators. I mean, even the largest ones, we're small. And I'm not saying I'm a large channel, I'm talking about Nick Shaves, um, even Geo Fat Boy, those are small channels in when you consider YouTube, you know, the biggest channels on YouTube. My channel is not a, a, a large channel, it's just a modestly, you know, I have probably 8,000 on iLeather and I don't know, 3,000 something on this one. It's a small channel, and even the largest are small. That's the point I'm getting at, and so. We need people advocating. We need bringing. We need to be bringing in more people to grow this hobby, so it's not just niche. That's my goal, and I hope I'm, you know, working to achieve that through bringing this uh, content and enjoying it, and uh, you know, also um, trying to so showcase some of the other channels that you might not know about that I didn't know about. Because again, I hadn't been consuming a lot of the content. I've gotten a really nice smooth shave out of the uh, the jaws, by the way. Um, at some point, I'll do a uh, comparison. The I still have the 68 plate for the 
for the safety the the bar safety bar game changer so maybe i'll do them side by side at some point the pulse silver blade on uh, shave two has been just fine really no problems it's been smooth shave no cuts weepers creepers irritation bubbles troubles it's just been a really nice and enjoyable shave and uh, i hope everyone's doing well with this you know cov19 stuff and Everyone's losing their mind all over the world and buying up all the toilet paper, and it's crazy. And I wish people weren't doing that, but, you know, what are you going to do? You can't control what everybody else is doing, but I think we probably be, need to be a little more responsible in how we're sharing things on social media and not drive people to do this sort of stuff by sharing, you know. It's one thing when you're joking, but if you're driving the madness by... You know, when you go to the store and there's no toilet paper and then it just catches on like wildfire. And now it's made a, it's just, it's made a spectacle of things really. But I hope everybody's staying safe. I hope everybody's taking the protocols that they need to. Uh, wherever you are in the world, please be safe. Enjoy your shaves. It's a great time that if you have to be home, get those shaves in, you know, enjoy yourself. And you might, you know, if you're able to shave every day like I do, you know, get you a shave every day and just enjoy it. You know, that's what it's all about for me, just enjoying these shaves. And so I do tremendously, and I hope you do also. Okay, let's rinse the face, and we'll come back for a post. Stay tuned. And now, all right, here we are, back with the magic. Made by witches, theirs. I don't think I mentioned the cost of this soap. This is a very affordable soap. Right now, it's on sale for ten thirty six for four ounces. That's an excellent, excellent two uh, 59 per ounce. Excellent price. That's a two thumbs up price, actually. Um, really, really nice price. And I must tell you, I had a much, sorry for bumping the camera there. Now I've gotten everything out of whack. But anyway, I got a much, much better result with this soap this time. It did what I expected it to do the first time. It was my error, folks. I'm human. I make mistakes. I always revisit and I try off camera and I do everything possible to make a product work. And in this case, all I needed to do was just load, from, make sure I got a good heavy load. Um, I went to one of my synthetics. Let's see what we have here in the brush. Really nice. Yeah, nice, nice. I'd call the scent strength on this for my taste. That's really slick, that's really slick too. Um, let me rinse that off my hand. I'd call the scent strength about, uh, I'd say it's up to four. You know, on my face now that I've mixed it up. I had a really good run with it. So, Dawn, it worked well for me. You know, thumbs up on that. Two thumbs up, especially on the price. Uh, even at regular price, it's uh, about three twenty-three dollars an ounce, which is still in one thumb up territory. So, very, very nice. The Razor Rock Game Changer Jaws 68. First run. It is in that medium aggressive level, even with the 68 plate. And honestly, I was, I'm really happy with it. As a first run, it was good. It, I had enough aggression to where it wasn't too mild. It definitely hits medium. It wasn't rough. The blade worked well in it. Nothing to complain about. We are going to finish off today with the PAA Irish Springs. Again, this Irish theme. Um, it's not the, this scent is the, like the Irish Spring soap, uh, bar soap scent. It is not the uh, uh, Green Irish Tweed, by the way. These are nice bottles, by the way. Have you ever, if you've never gotten the um, PAA Aftershave, they come with these, they come in a nice box, and they're really nice bottles. Thin, I like that. I'm going to put my hand over this and then let some come out. Um, you can use vacuum to uh, allow the aftershave off, but I find it's easier just to put your finger over the hole because that does not have a traditional restrictor. You can go watch the video. Douglas has a video on how you can use the vacuum, but I just like to put my finger over it, turn it over and let it let the aftershave out. This smells just like the Irish Spring Bar Soap, continuing with our Irish theme. Uh, one thing I would um, recommend is if you think you're gonna, if you like a soap or if you've had it before, 
you're better off to get the set because the set, if you get the original Crown King formula, is like it's you're usually $35 including the aftershave. And these aftershaves tend to last quite a while. They're aftershave colognes. Uh, again, I like them a lot. I have missed them uh, during the time I didn't use PAA. I really miss those aftershave. He makes some of the best. Ooh, my face feels good too, actually. I don't know if it's the aftershave or what. I don't, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll get into the aftershave ingredients in another video because I don't want to make this one too long. But I want to thank everybody for watching. It's been fun today. Happy St. Patrick's Day to everyone out there. I hope you're all staying safe. Do what you can to keep yourselves and your family safe. And I want you to come back soon, safe, happy. And I want to remind you, until next time, it's your shave, do it your way, and God bless.